Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon. So today we will go through about the inter microservices communication using a fan client. This is the one of the way how the microservices talk to each other. So I'll, uh, I'll let you know the what is the use case which I'm going to try to implement here. So we have a multiple microservices implemented here. This is an extension of what we have a microservices series. So we have created a catalog service. We have a review and rating service. Here catalog service will talk to review and rating service and fetch their reviews of a particular product. So that is the use case which it going to see in a simple example here. So let's see. So review in the review and rating service I have a review controller where I have created a one method which just fetches the reviews based on the product code. So I'll just show you the implementation in a normal way the SAPI. So you can see that it will pass the code. It will just fetch the, all the details from the database. So as already my review service is running, uh, I'll just show you how it works now for the one of the product. It's a just a simple rest call for the first initially. So this is able to fetch the all the products. Now how the catalog service will talk to the review and rating service, you'll see that is we will be using a faint client. So if you see my product controller is the part of the catalog service, you can say I created a one. Uh, controller method here use uh, as a path as a using faint client for a demo purpose so it is talking to a review and rating service using a faint client so i'll just show you how you be configured the faint client here so that is one of the important so this is the faint client annotation we have to use to create a faint client interface and also you need to have that created here so that you will be able to implement those different methods to access which you want to implement as a communication between the two microservices so you can see and one of the other interesting you should be the enable flank client should be enabled here or added here in the where the microservices you want to talk to other microservices so my catalog service has enabled the flank client also we created a one flank client class or interface you see that is I given a name as a review service faint client so that you can create a different different one as it's required for you so I just given it and my review service is running on 8066 as you see here this is running on 8066 so I created 8066 and this is my context path okay that's why I given as a review so if you see my review control over there there is one method which I shown you that is fetch code which will take as a path variable as a code so if you see whenever you add a multiple methods here by default it will take this as a root url to fetch the data so that you need not to hard code it everything in every rest api call so this also i just shown here as part of this demo example but this you can fetch it from your application properties configuration so that you will not be uh, hard coding all the details here so these all fine configuration can be done through application properties or apl application yml file so that you can fetch it here so the same way i created this method here to fetch that code and what it does is if you look at it here so product controller i'll go i'll just go to the my service implementation so i just annotated auto add that plain client as soon as you annotate that method will be visible here and you can just pass the same values here as well uh, as a part of the parameter passing so because it's, it's always important to keep the same kind of a parameters if it is uh, uh, required if not you can also have a, uh, the way you can change you define your controller as well as per your requirement you can have a custom logic over there as well in your service but for example i'm just showing a simplest example here so i'm just calling a faint client which is nothing but it is calling to a internally review and rating servers my service is already running so i'll just go to my catalog service this is the one method which i created as a part of the controller you can see now what i'll do i'll just try to fetch some data here you can see I'm, I'm able to fetch the data if you see the data which i'm fetching through the this service that is nothing but your catalog service and the data which is present in the review and ratings are the same so so i'm i'm fetching same data so you'll be able to see the same data so this is the one of the way you interact with the microservices and there are other ways also event sourcing and other ways as well uh, you can do that asynchronous calls and everything you can do that i'll cover in subsequent uh, videos with respect to this thank you thanks a lot